good day happy saturday happy sabbath surprise hello i have my deep morning voice on ah oh, oh. <laughs> baritone um i'm relaxed i haven't got giddy yet this is what i sound like before i get going some of you are aware just thought i'd pop in i'd like to introduce somebody and something to you i'd like to talk about some issues that i see and um, i'd like to say hello any questions it is money credit cash related so any questions let me know big up loretta let's give you a wave been a long time i shouldn't have left you my little nieces and nephews without a dog 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 beat to step to step to stop it we're already off look <laughs> let me stick to the thread this is important i'd like to uh i'd like to introduce not that you're not important Loretta, but uh you see man's on a mission and we're almost home and free i'd like to introduce a man called klaus k-l-a-u-s family clan name schwab sierra charlie hotel whiskey alpha bravo klaus schwab when i've talked about the uh, the fourth industrial revolution technocracy technology um uh, blockchain technology algorithms uh, the technology that we are using currently that has enslaved us that we could actually use better so um in light of the collapse and demise of uh, life as we know it uh, not so much for us in here the uh, the initiates of self and the sovereigns uh, masters of the realm of the you and i verse no more castle grayskull for you but uh, from castle grayskull if klaus schwab um i'll give you the link i'll be kind uh, i'd like to share this with you i think it's uh, something you would need to research and look at yourself not just take uh, my research and others so we're just saying hello it's a random pop in i see and feel the change as you do um, the impending changes the prescribed changes the spirits of the bills and the acts bills and paperwork don't have spirits countries do not get divorced okay um, the madness needs to stop but uh, on track money debt credit if anybody can hear today now show me some evidence of money i will give you a great uh, reward of uh, of which we will work out but there's a there's a challenge essentially of which you cannot do so um, i'm confident in that you show me money and i will show you great rewards there is credit you know, just to reiterate that before we go on with Klaus and the fourth industrial revolution of which I've been on about for a couple of years, um, you know, I'd like to go through the finances and mechanics of the monetary system, the credit, the credit control. You go and apply for what from the state? You apply for credit, tax credits, working families credits. They don't say money. You know, you apply for a benefit. All right. So you benefit from that as a beneficiary. Uh, you see where we're going here. So um, they are telling some supermarkets now via legislation, public, secular, code, that they cannot sell um, essential items. Now, here we go. If you need something, and I need something, man needs something, at that time of need, it is deemed essential by the one that needs it, okay? Not by legislation, not by the Queen, not by Trumpy Pants, not by Boris, not by the... Uh, the uh, department for economic and etc it is it is essential to you whether it be clothing or uh, or non food items um so here we are with the dictatorship and the censorship shipping and the uh, and the proclaimed uh, management of commerce and trade in the spirits of acts legislation and bills well let's uh, just put that out there and they are driving driving uh, yes they are pushing they are funneling, kettling commerce onto online ways, uh, middle class, 
um, jobs, businesses, uh, working class, up to middle class, lower middle class, upper working class businesses, into the middle class, echelons of family businesses established tens of hundreds of years, being forced high street wise to be vacated, zombie nation. Okay, so this uh, fourth industrial revolution, I'm going to introduce somebody to you now. It's not very long. It's important that you uh, familiarise yourselves with him. The World Economic Forum also. And those that are mentioned in the Great Reset, okay, and Nasara, Jasara and Q. Here's David with the complete opposite of no Nasara, Jasara and no Q. Going completely digital, wiping out all the high street trade, going completely online with track and trace, digital media, um, drone delivery, stay at home, um, no interactions uh, as much as we used to have, the close and demise of the high street, the eradication of the middle class and the implementation of the blockchains and the fourth industrial revolution. Do you don't believe me? Well, here we go. Um, this uh, is just uh, incredible. All right, six and a half minutes. Klaus Schwab. I've put the link into the chat. Have a listen. It is obvious that we are in the midst of the most severe crisis the world has experienced since World War II. I am Ernst Stavro Blofeld. 75 years ago, countries and people came together to shape the post-war global order. Back in the 60s, I developed a weather changing machine, which was in essence a sophisticated heat beam, which we called a laser. Which brought us decades of peace, increased global cooperation and prosperity to hundreds of millions of people around the world. Gentlemen, I have a plan. The COVID-19 crisis has shown us that our old systems are not fit anymore for the 21st century. For 70 years, Hydra has been secretly feeding crisis, weeping war. And when history did not cooperate, history was changed. It has laid bare the fundamental lack of social cohesion, fairness, inclusion, and equality. Hydra was founded on the belief that humanity could not be trusted with its own freedom. What we did not realize was that if you try to take that freedom, they resist. The war taught us much. Humanity needed to surrender its freedom willingly. Today um, is the beginning of uh, a global mobilization effort. Uh, to rally our forces behind this great reset initiative. Try to take over the world. Right, so this is, this is a, a video from premiered November the 4th, 2020, is all I can tell you. It's Klaus and the family, the man there, Schwab. And they're, going, they're giving you um, clips from various films, um, Marvel, Hydra, um, pinky in the brain um, you can hear interjections from as well we're a minute and 50 seconds in to a seven minute clip i'll continue on all right we do not want to do just patchwork on our old system it's not enough to change a few policies to address uh, short-term issues what we need is a change of mindsets uh, came out in the discussion of business models of lifestyles in order to achieve a more cohesive, more collaborative, more resilient uh, world. Excellent. What kind of world do we want to build? What do we know? What did we learn? I think the world um, which uh, we want to create with the Great Reset has to be much more resilient. And to build a really better world sometimes means having to tear the old one down. It has to be because security people will demand for more security, um, physical security, health security. Hydra created a world so chaotic that humanity is finally ready to sacrifice its freedom to gain its security. So if we want to avoid uh, 
some kind of uh, social revolutions that we have seen uh, the signs of anger on the streets uh, already the last weeks. Once the purification process is complete, Hydra's new world order will arise. We know now uh, that um, the next crisis is already waiting for us around the corner and it is a climate crisis. After the earthquakes and tidal waves, they won't be quite the human beings you remember. They'll be more tractable, easier. This is Ming the Merciless speaking. ...for you to rule. It's even aggravated by the, by the question um, about the vaccine itself. We don't know yet, uh, for example, is one dose sufficient? Uh, do you need two doses? In what interval uh, do you have even uh, to, to be vaccinated every year? Um, because the antibodies may not um, uh, sustain for a long time. I am Locutus of Borg. Resistance is futile. <laughs> the Your Borg. life as it has been is over. From this time forward, you will service us. Jean-Luc Picard with the Borg there, assimilation clip just played. <laughs> now is the historical moment, the time, not only to fight severe virus, but to shape the system for the need for the post-corona era. The post-corona era is the need. Are you hearing this? I hope you are, Klaus Schwab. All right, World Economic Forum, he was speaking at here, what I've got, what I'm playing you. I would not rule out the chance to preserve a nucleus of human specimens. We have a choice to remain passive, which would lead to, an, to the amplification of many of the trends we see today. Of course, it would be absolutely vital that our top government and military men be included to foster and impart the required principles of leadership and tradition. And uh, you'd I'd reference Liverpool and um, the army there, being top levels of government being involved, um, direct from the WHO. They have um, before, you know, made mistakes and got governments to buy um, pharmaceutical uh, packages um tamiflu was it the swine flu and um it never worked out mm -hmm. into the great panic that they said and expected it would it's because governments listened to um, pharmaceutical companies and bought stock in advance of a of a pandemic that they envisaged that was brought on um, and they had to uh, you know renege on that and there was investigations into why it was predicted there was going to be a world pandemic with the swine flu and the tamiflu stocks and things and then there wasn't so it seems that there has been false starts, Ebola, Zika, um, before, and uh, it's been relentless over the years. And so, uh, you know, you have, to, you have to bear these things up as well. So now the World Health Organization has declared the pandemic on a realm-wide global scale. And um, these leaders and institutions and academics, Klaus, and um, the World Economic Forum's uh, management of economy, digital, online, transitional periods, a historic moment, a post-COVID moment. Uh, not here to scare you, for those that don't know and want to know how and what we know and why we think and why we see and how we can kind of see into the future of what possibly would be happening and also evaluate today's current technologies and work out if they are actually benefiting man or if we have used them uh, negatively and in the wrong way. And we can flip it around and use it in a positive way. So we are we are on a, we're on a, a a point a pivotal point here of a decision time and knowledge and awareness. If you don't have this knowledge and awareness and insight, then you don't stand a chance. You need to know the full options, which is all we're doing. Duly informing you via um, this technocrat Klaus of the family and clan Schwab. Nationalism, racism and ultimately increase social unrest and conflicts. But we have another
another choice. We can build a new social contract, particularly integrating the next generation. We, we can build a new social contract and including the next generation. We can change our behaviour to be in harmony with nature again. Also, then, we can be in harmony with nature again. I'd pay to see that. When they go down into the mine, Abraham will still be alive. There will be no shocking memories. And the prevailing motion will be one of nostalgia for those left behind. Combined with a spirit of bold curiosity for the adventure ahead. <laughs> It's a clip of a black and white film with a man in a wheelchair um, with some um, German officer theme. I don't know. And what we can do. make sure that the technologies of the fourth industrial revolution are best utilized to provide us with better lives. The technologies of the fourth industrial revolution, it's there, okay? He said it, not I. I'm just echoing it for you. <laughs> in short, we need a great reset. Klaus's own words again, in short, we need a great reset. So when you hear of a great reset, has anybody mm -hmm. up until this point brought you Klaus Schwab and the tangible um, real life effects of what's happened? Not just some, some Nasara Jasara um, prey, hope and whim with um, fraudulent paperwork to get you to be all um, complacent within your new legislative, um, uh, I don't know, ligatures, bonds that are being placed, restrictions, the demise, the change. We have the voice. We are the crown, yes, essentially. That's not a sovereign. Everybody is a crown because by the waters of your mum, you are crowned upon being born at the point of entry into this realm, at the point of termination of the pregnancy. The pregnancy terminates and the the uh, delivery begins and you are delivered, you are produced, presented, incarnate into this reality is what I prefer to say. And then um, your time begins again anew as, um, as being born of the waters of your mum and you are crowned um, at the first moment of title claim um, positioning. So uh, we decide we will be the voice. We um, elect, select the elect if you like. So. Uh, we continue on, we're nearly at the end, and then I'll look at your comments. Another 30 seconds, I think, is left of this clip, um, brought from a channel called Computing Forever on uh, YouTube, which is where the video links come from. So I have actually uh, you know, given you the direct link to this. Uh, he's basically taking Klaus Schwab's uh, presentation and um, thoughts here of the future, and then he's interjected with comedy clips from uh, various films of which you may recognise or may not. Here we go. We have to mobilize all constituents of our global society to work together. We must not miss this unique window of opportunity. Together we could conquer the universe. <laughs> yeah, it's finished. There you go. So uh, I'll go to the comments and see who is uh, who is in. Any questions? How are you doing? What are we saying? What go on in Babylon? What have you noticed? Hello to Dean. Yes, James. How are we doing? See anyone else? Soraya. Is it Soraya? Easy. Morning. And to let's. So yes, uh, I don't have anything to preach or procrastinate. We're going to do that later when we update the dot com. And then we may be live tomorrow night for a public uh, splashdown. And we might a stream for you. And um, from captains to kings and queens, we are building the boat. The escape boat we're building the boat as we sail it um due to um, a surprise attack on private rights private property your privacy 
your right to choose what is essential regarding um, you know your uh, trips out on c commercial you know uh, ventures you are now being told where you can go what time you can go how you can go you know where what you can buy um, how to buy it what you must do to buy it who you can be with at the you know homestead in your castle how you, how many you can meet and um, yes, like I say, there has been errors and emissions left, right and centre. And um, we're not necessarily saying that what they have in store and planned for us is going to be the most beneficial and the best. And um, the fourth industrial techno you know, technological revolution is a dangerous one because of the AI, the algorithms. So you can see that supermarkets by club being told and ordered, it's not their choice to remove stock from the shelves and not sell it as it's now classified as non-essential that's a direct insult all around to uh, to the ones that have stock to sell and the ones that might want that whatever item it is you need if you need it it would be classified as essential um, in a moment of need now whether legislative secular um, you know overseers deem that as a as essential is a joke um, what we submit um, to now is going to reflect, you know, under lineages down the line of our blood. So I just thought it was a worthy point of mention that you can see that they are forcing the online. Everyone's at home, or not everybody, a great deal are at home for four weeks. And they're going to be watching and shopping other than, you know, uh, a great many other tasks. But mostly a majority will be online media online shopping and they're getting systems practiced you can see there is a narrative the bigger picture the more that you chat with us and we chat together and we bring in our experiences our concerns our worries our fears we remember past mistakes <clears throat> we intelligently and articulately discuss and bring forward you know three billion pounds has gone missing millions and billions it looks like there's a great um, spend going on and money and credits where is the money there is no money so it's credits it's uh, equitable relief it's uh, our mineral and energy rights it's our bloodlines systems and infrastructures uh, orders coming in you know klaus has said that himself not i not uh, uh, anyone from facebook youtube twitter this is very real. So whilst we're all forming opinions of uh, of heaven being delivered, I, I will say now that I'm more the, so than any would be very happy and elated for us all to be quantitatively eased and have remedy, cure and maintenance delivered to us through some form of a Catholic, international, monetary, central bank, a quantitative easing, credit giving situation, I would be the first to rejoice and give thanks and love and gratitude for some kind of new um, access route where we all get uh, the credits we were promised from uh, from back in the day. But that might not happen, okay? And if it doesn't, what's plan B? Yes, so that's, uh, that looks like where we're going and why. And when we... Uh, we chat later, we'll echo this out and then we'll meet back tomorrow and we'll chat uh, on tube or maybe early next week, we'll see. I'd like to say good day to Kevin and uh, Paul, Nita, Dean, Gavin, okay, Soraya I've already got, okay, welcome, happy Saturday. I've just played a nice clip from tube there involving quite a sombre form of opinionation of where we we are looking to be going as a as a civilization so if you want to rewind get that link from the chat and listen to klaus again be my guest the channel has taken the uh, the feed from the world economic arena there is a, a global plan there is a realm-wide plan Klaus Schwab brings that to you. <laughs> the, the not so great reset satire is what the channel has called that video. I did find that humorous. Uh, computing software on YouTube. So 
I think he's called Dave as well. I have liked and subscribed to the channel and I did put genius in a comment. So I hope that you won't mind me using that context there. It is non-profit and uh, reporting. <laughs> it's back up. So others are, are seeing what we're seeing. Um, a spiritual battle, a financial battle, battles on many fronts, energetic battle, digital domain battle, battle for rights, souls, sovereignty. Very, very interesting. So it's great to see some plain, simple, concise mm, information mm. brought to you about what is happening behind closed doors, um, the likes of indigos, crystals, rainbows, light workers, those on the spectrum um, of autism, notice these consistent, inconsistent consistencies in the way that they want to shape um, commerce, money, businesses, chains. You've seen how the, uh, the great companies are all owned by a, a few and then they have sister companies and umbrella companies um, dominating the market so digital chips in the skin access rights electronically delivered monitored tracked traced chipped pin most of these chips and pins and devices the product have barcodes the bar we know about the bar and the code the code of the bar and um, we know what barcodes are and when you're naughty you put behind bars Bars are generally put there to defend or protect penning, animals, cages. Again, um, the number sequencing in with the barcode on a commercial issue has got the two long lines at three different places at the beginning, middle and end of the barcode. If you'd like to go on to Duck Duck, me ducks and put in commercial, UK, yeah, American, Canadian, Australian, whatever, wherever you are, barcode, you will see that they're international, like the banks and books and all such things are international and they have a, a uniformed presentation and the two longer lines at the beginning middle and end denote the number six so you have the three sixes within that if we didn't find these uh, unholy synchronicities and codes symbols paradoxes warnings red flags so often it wouldn't be a concern but when they're coming up daily, um, it does become a concern. The messages that the channel there has used to put into that um, World Economic Forum presentation. Remember the Bilderbergs and things like that that get round and discuss as well. Yeah, there obviously there's a lot more institutions involved than what I've mentioned. And the, uh, the affairs and committees and treaties and agreements and, uh, you know, what's coming out of. Uh, Brexit, us being out of Europe and uh, the uh, finalisation of that happening, the control back to London, it just seems a bit coincidental um, the times and the manoeuvres and they're not being honest with us and they'll present something to us which looks like uh, a deal uh, that you cannot refuse and it looks too good to be true uh, we don't look a gift horse in the mouth but we're also not naive and idiots and when we've all got uh, an equal say and we're all born equal then um, we have to reinforce otherwise we're gonna flush down the toilet throw the baby out with a bath water may actually happen so there's a great deal to be considered here um, not just suing um, you know via litigation some politicians for one thing um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a big picture there's a lot happening and they try to distract you um, by throwing a main story out and focusing on that whilst in the background many other far serious and uh, issues with a bigger gravity to them are going off which you miss and uh, omit ignorance is no defense you know and uh, when the laws of public area collide with those of equity then equity will prevail we have legal equity we have ecclesiastical equity we have biblical equity uh, we have you know lawful private when i say biblical lawful private so we can choose where we want to stand uh, much like a confirmed catholic but in a private capacity and without the re religious connotation the same protection and levels are available so we'll continue to work as we are doing and 
inform you as to what else you may need to be looking at and to some other um, possible um, pathways of which you're not aware of that are going off that others may be aware of that are paid to distract you and to give you red herrings to get you to sit down and wait and uh, you know expect and we expect history to repeat itself and it to be not in man's favour and that's just the way that it goes if there's any proof out there that there is money and not credits and promises and the way that it's set up we'd like to see it cash and credits as you go to the benefits office and claim your benefit and become a beneficiary of applying for a credit system tax credits family credits you know payments of sorts from the state the printing the quantitatively easing we've seen the governor of the bank of england and mr rishi sunak the uh, second lord of the treasury the mr chancellor of the exchequer has had to react and patch up he's building the ship as he's sailing it everybody so never mind us we're not even paid and have the billions of resources and the treasury and uh, you know the foresight and the teams and the offices of which these uh, um, ministers of Westminster have all right and they are patching it up and uh, repatching safety nets and and working on the fly um, can't manage you couldn't run a bath all right to be fair so uh, we don't feel so bad in being so uh, you know uh, being so delayed in what we're doing and the, the changes and the positions that we're at and uh, the trip, the journey is much for you to take. But the, the the misconceptions about the reality that we're in, they need quashing. And they are being quashed very well, very fast. And that was just a bit of evidence to say we're not bar humbug. We don't thrive on giving you bad news. We're just realistic. We work on facts. And we have a big family. And they keep us updated in all the relevant areas. And that's all we're doing here today. So I'll go to the comments. We'll have a quick uh, WhatsApp, what what, and then um, we'll be back later. Good to see you, James. Been a long time. Pre noon, hello. Yes, Stuart, thank you. So, if you want the link to the video that I played from um, Computing Forever from a, another brother called Dave, I do believe, once again, there is the link. Do your own research. Due diligence. Yes, Lisa. So you just name just popped in there. And um, we'll be back very soon. Thank you for the support. Stay safe. Stay well. Stay sane. If you can, back it up. Stay sovereign. Stay self-governing. Stay loving. Look out for one another. Stop acting. It's doing... Hugh man, man's, not so much Hugh. Flesh and blood, living and breathing, authentic beings of the creator. Our SPL's initiates, we love you, we say thank you. Times are very trying at the minute for all of us, very challenging. Nothing's normal, everything's upside down. And um, the wrong voices are being given a voice. And the ones that should be given a voice have been silenced. <laughs> nothing's what it seems. The fabric of reality is indeed um, very much tearing. A new paradigm and dimension is coming, as you can see. Money, mechanics, shopping, education, working, so much religion, politics, and order has been planned, and it's on its way. It's a 2030 UN agenda. Okay, research that one. That's another little one to get in there for you. Um... The end of an era, the common era, CE, common era, BCE, before common era, BC, before Christ, before Corona, 1st of January 2019, BC. Now we're going into the PE, the private era, self-governing, good governance, private, separation of man from entity, legal, legal, the undoing of God's law, the creator's law. Their codes will be their downfall, as you are seeing. Sometimes they come out, like Brother Klaus, the World Economic Forum, or the Bilderberg, and they will give releases. 
Thank you all for your support. Thank you all for the contacts, working through the emails. We are improving every week. The Evidence of Life version 2 that we're working on. I'm going to look at that tomorrow with G-Star. The notices, proclamations are overway. From captains to kings and queens, we are set. Thank you. That's it. That'll do for now. Short and sweet. To the point, Kevin, we need to chat. And uh, that's about it. Much love. Ciao, Bello. See you soon.